Hello everybody, welcome back. It's the time you've all been waiting for. It's another online PE lesson with me, Mr. Townhill. I hope you're all doing well. Um, so this week is sort of a continuation from last week. Last week we looked at some components of fitness. They were what we call health-related components of fitness. We're looking this week at skill-related components of fitness. As you can see on the screen there, we are going to be looking at a bit, few more today than we did last week. So we can look at speed, power, agility, balance, reaction time, and coordination. Same as last week, I'm going to tell you what they are, tell you what type of athletes might need this type of skill-related component, and then give you a few ways that you might be able to improve them yourselves, if you so choose. So without further ado, on to the first one. Speed. We all know what we, th what we think speed might be. Um, speed is the ability to move quickly across the ground or move limbs rapidly to grab or throw. So the first one, dead simple. We think of speed, we think of someone running really fast. Okay, it is that, but it's not just that. It could be that, but it also could be someone, perhaps a goalkeeper, moving his hand up really quickly to save a shot. Okay, so it could just be about how quickly you can move your limbs, not just how quickly you can run. But for an easy example, a 100 meter sprinter would need pretty good speed. Okay, that's all their event is about. Uh, a few ways you can improve speed is through hill training. So doing some sprints up hills, okay, that makes it a bit more difficult than running on flat ground. It means your legs have got to be working more. Through something called plyometrics, which works on power, it's about explosive um, exercises, which really improve the muscles in your legs. And then finally, quite simply, sprint training. Okay, the more you do something, the better you're going to get at it, quite simply. Uh, moving swiftly on. On to power. Power, quite similar to what we looked at last week with um, uh, with the strength exercises we looked at. Okay, power is the ability to exert a maximum force in a force. Can't speak in a short time as possible, such as accelerating, jumping, or throwing implements. Implements just a fancy word for objects, so maybe a ball. Um, or it could be kicking. Okay, if you've got more power in your legs, it means you can kick harder. It means you can be able to jump higher. Accelerating it means you be able to get quickly off um, off the starting blocks. So a high jumper, for example, would need excellent power. Okay, the more power they've got in their legs, the higher they can jump, and the more speed they'll be able to build up um, when getting to that jump. Ways to improve power: uh, jump squats, quite simply. Okay, you do a normal squat and you jump up. Um, medicine ball throws that will in uh, increase power in your arms. Because remember, it's not all about your legs. Um, and finally, just simply body weight squats, something that you can do at home um, by yourselves. Uh, next one is to agility. Agility is the ability to quickly change body position or direction of the body. Um, so simply, okay, it's the ability to change direction really quickly. Um, invasion games players would need great agility. If you don't know what they are, anything such as rugby, football, netball, basketball are all types of invasion games. They're all types of games where people have got to quickly turn on the spot um, and change direction. Um, not into a sport, but a cheetah has got fantastic agility. If you don't know, they can jump in the air and change direction whilst in midair. Okay, that's the sort of stuff we're looking at. Uh, way to improve agility is through ladder exercises. So you've got the exercise ladders, okay, you're going in and out, changing directions quickly. Hurdle drills or any activity with sharp changes of movement. Again, it's that thing. If you keep doing it, keep practicing, you will improve eventually. Moving on. Balance. Balance is the ability to stay upright or stay in control of body movement. I'm pretty sure we all know what balance is, okay? You, so you're not wobbling on your feet, you can stay upright, you can stay on your feet. A gymnast, for example, would need fantastic balance, especially ones that are on the beams. If you don't know, they're the ones with a thin pole in the middle, which they're on, usually doing like cartwheels over, which is crazy and does need amazing balance to stay on. Even if you're just standing on them, it needs pretty good balance. Um, ways to improve your balance, yoga, um, quite simply core exercises. If you don't know what that core is, uh, the center of your body, usually um, kind of picked around your abs, okay? So the better your core is, the better you can keep yourself centered. Moving on, um, reaction time. Again, it's something we all think we know what reaction time is. Um, so it refers to how quickly you can respond to external sim stimulus. A fancy way is how quickly can you respond to something um, outside of your control? So maybe a tennis ball, how quickly can you respond to that tennis ball coming at you? Um, a badminton player, for, exa for example, would need excellent reaction time. Badminton is the fastest racket sport in the world. Okay, it, They travel at upwards of 100 miles an hour. So people that are playing badminton need to be quick to react because it is moving at such a uh, fast speed. Um, a reaction time can be through, through 
improved through things like using a reaction wall if you don't know what they are it's one of those things that you might see at an arcade where you've got the buttons on the wall it'll light up and you've got to press it i know not everyone's got one of those at home if you have fair play um but again it's just one of those things reaction time is something that you can prove um through just doing normal things and playing sports and um even through playing stuff like video games okay um playing stuff is it's just external stimulus that you are having to react to and the more you do it the quicker you will be able to react um, and last but not least, uh, coordination. So coordination, again, something that we all probably know about is the ability to use two or more body parts together. Okay, you've got different types of coordination. You've got hand-eye coordination. Okay, so it's the, uh, how uh, how well are you be able to use your hand and reacting to external stimulus, which is um, something to do with reaction time as well. Um, you see these all kind of meld together um, at some point. Um, a trampoline, is, for example, would need great coordination. Okay, trampolinists use different body parts um, pretty much all the time to get themselves into place for sits and um, for somersaults and everything like that. A few ways you can improve uh, coordination. Balance exercises, okay, coordination and balance are quite closely linked and simply enough juggling if you want to improve your hand, hand to eye coordination. Quite simple, I can't do it, um, but that's something I could do to try and improve my coordination. Um, that is it for this week, guys. To light. In fact, I forgot to give you the task for this week. Almost let you off easily then. Um, so the task for this week, similar to last week, what you're going to do is you're going to do a practical activity um, where you can use an example of each component for five minutes each. Um, so just to remind you what the components are. There we go. Um, so what you can do is you can either pick um, each component and then do a separate session around each one. Or you can try and um, meld a few together. Um, so the example I can give you, so you're going to do a five-minute warm-up, as we've said since the start, we need to warm up, we need to get our bodies um, ready for exercise. Uh, then what you can do is you can have five minutes working on speed, five minutes working on power, five minutes working on agility, and so on and so forth. What I would like to stress, though, is um, do mix it up. Don't do speed and then power because that is going to absolutely kill you. You are doing a lot of um, powerful exercises, explosive exercises, and you will not be able to walk the next day. Okay, so use your brains a bit. Make sure that you're making it a bit fun, something that you can do um, throughout the week. Or if you just want to do it at once, get your family involved, get um, everyone working hard. Um, and let's try and save it for a nice sunny day as well. Um, that is it. No more surprises this time. Um, I hope you're all doing well, keeping safe. Um, and I shall see you next week.